Take a look at this. Nick Claxton in his career, he had one game with 20 or more points over his first 134 career games. He's got 20 or more his last five games. And over his last three, as we mentioned earlier in the post game, he set new career highs. Tonight, with 27 and moments ago, he met the media. Nick, uh, I guess for starters, what did you see as the reason why things went left? Uh, we're just giving up 20 points. 43 points in the third quarter. You know, 30 points pretty much every quarter of the game. That's just too many points. So as a collective unit, we just need to do a better job of really just accepting the challenge of guarding the ball and just taking pride in getting stops and rebounds. Would you say the spirit of the group is still high, even though the loss have kind of piled up recently? Yeah, there's no reason to put our heads down. I mean, it's fixable. I mean, it's it's a little more effort um, rebounding. And we're scoring points offensively. You know, we're knocking down shots. We just got to get those those timely stops and timely rebounds. Jock gave us a little anecdote before about you being in the cold tub with Royce after the game in Philly, just talking about your professionalism, you know, given your success this year. Is that, you know, something you feel like you've picked up more as you've gone into the league, got been in the league, or are you doing anything different this year, or is that just something you've always had with your game? Yeah, that's that's how I've always been. Um, since I've since I've been in the league and even in college, I've always taken my body very serious. I mean, I've I had some unfortunate injuries along the way, but um, you know things are just clicking right now, I'm getting stronger, and just growing into my body. And my process has pretty much been the same, just taking care of my body on off days after games. I mean, he's always ready. Um, you definitely need guys like that that can step up whenever their um, their name is called, and he's always in attack mode. Uh, he does. It doesn't matter who's on the court. He's getting downhill. He's playing extremely hard, picking up full court, and he he's a he's a selfless guy. He's a team guy, and it's def definitely great to have him here on the team. Pressure on the rim. Does that open up? I guess maybe like rebounding opportunities for you on the offensive glass. Just like, what does that do for you? Yeah, rebounding. And he'll also get in there, drive, and, and kick it to me. So it's definitely. I'm off. We have a pretty good, you know, thing going. He he drives in, and a lot of times he, he'll draw in the big, and I'm there ready to finish. And, and like you said, I'm also ready to um, get the offensive rebound if he's to miss it. Uh, Nick, I've noticed that the team can struggle on the defensive glass uh, when you're switched out on the perimeter. Do you ever feel kind of caught in between your responsibility to go get a block and be on the glass? Yeah, and, and definitely. Um, sometimes when I get switched out, uh, I always have to make sure I'm coming back to help us rebound because, you know, that can be a, a weak spot for us. And I have to have a... Um, good judgment. Sometimes I need to leave some of those shots that guys are taking and just play the numbers game and stay there for the rebound instead of going for the block and getting out of position, giving up an offensive rebound. Something I've gotten better at, but I've got to continue to work on it. Nick, Jock was talking before the game about utilizing the time at home. You've spent a lot of time on the road recently. How important is that, especially with sort of the stretch you guys are in and everything that's going on without KD on the court and also with the Knicks coming in here in the next game on Saturday? Yeah, that'll be a fun game. But, oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely it's good to have a home stand. We've been on the road. We've had some a tough road stretch. We, You know, we, we got a couple of wins. And we have a lot of things that um, that we can take from that, that last trip. And even tonight, just positives. You know, you can't, even though we lost, we, we got to, you know, look at look at the bright side and um, look at the film and, and get better. And it's good to um, be with our fans for these next few games. Do, do you pay attention to 2K ratings? Yeah, I saw him at 85. Yeah, I feel like that that's like a big number for 2K when you it get is. over that, that 85 one. What does that mean to you? I mean, it's about right. I grew up playing a lot of 2K, so 85, you know, I'll get it up to around 87, 88 by the end of the year. But 85, is it's respectable. It's respectable. Nick, Nick, along those lines, I mean, you're driving, you're finishing hooks, you're doing things that we haven't seen a lot from you in the past. Have you been waiting for you know, this opportunity to show that you can do more for this team? 
I mean, have I been waiting? I mean, it's just it's opportunity, just confidence. I don't want to say I've been waiting because, I mean, I can do this with the same stuff with Katie on the court, just picking my spots, being assertive, being aggressive. I mean, I'm in a good flow right now. Um, and I'm just just, be, just being aggressive, having fun. And it's unfortunate we, we lost, but, you know, my in, individual success, I got to keep, keep growing every single game doing what I'm doing. Just going off what you were talking about before about being kind of caught in between switch and rebound and having to make some decisions, play the numbers game, do you think you being caught in those situations says something about how important Kevin is uh, with what you guys do defensively? Kevin being... I mean, you know, with him um, going out, unfortunately, today with an injury, it's tough. And when we lose, losing our, our size. And, yeah, we definitely miss him out there on the court, on the defensive side of the ball, um, a big time. And another guy, with, you know, another footer with length and helps with rebounding and protecting the rim. But we, you know, we have our group, whoever's out there on the court, that's what we, who we got to roll with and we got to figure it out. Yeah. Well, Claxton Frank said it'll be a fun one on Saturday yeah. against the Knicks. It always is. The Knicks are going to be looking for a little payback for that woodshed beating the Nets gave them early in November, but it should be a fun one on Saturday. Yeah, I don't know the 2K ratings of anybody on the Knicks or the Brooklyn Nets, but that game's going to be competitive. There's a rivalry there. Knicks fans will try to invade Barclays Center. Tom Thibodeau will have that team ready to play. Jock Vaughn will have his group ready to play. Big question now for the Brooklyn Nets. Do you get Ben Simmons on Saturday? And do you get T.J. Warren as well? And we'll see what kind of condition Nick Claxton and Kyrie Irving are in because they've been playing a lot, putting up big numbers. You mentioned before about Nick Claxton, his last five games. Yeah. And I know I'm going to get myself in trouble for this. Do you realize that two of those games were second night of a back-to-back? -back? How does he do it? I don't know. How is he able to do it? It's like his legs. I, how, how are Why are we making excuses for Kyrie Irving and Nick Claxton? They're going out there giving everything they have. Second night of a back-to-back. -back. It can be done. Kyrie Irving and Nick Claxton proved it. Everyone needs to follow suit. I'm not just talking about net players. I'm talking about all over the league.